My name is Peter Essany and I work for Territory Studio as a creative lead and visual effects supervisor. We do quite a lot of film work for various big productions and smaller ones as well. We had the opportunity to work on projects that usually bigger studios take on. That forced us into a mindset where we constantly wanted to innovate, wanted to come up with new workflows and methods. One thing was, was always there and, and still is, is that we are a design-driven studio. So design is very, very important for us. And regardless of how much visual effects work we do, everything needs to come from a design perspective or a design background. And I think this is, this is the main ethos of the studio. There is an order to things. That's what we do here. So when we started to work on, on the new Blade Runner film, Blade Runner 2049, it was quite clear that we were not going to be um, held back by what was done in the, in the original film. This was a really, really great opportunity to build something upon the legacy that Blade Runner had, but come up with something very different. So the task was to create futuristic computer technology. However, this futuristic computer technology is significantly different from anything we've seen before. So all the ideas that we have about technology, those were discarded. So we had to come up with something that resembles a version of the future, which is drastically different from the version of the future that we think we are going to have. They know you're here. One of the things that we like to do is, is experimenting with things. So when we started to work on it, there was nothing that could hold us back in terms of experimenting with technologies and techniques. And the way we presented these was based around uh, Adobe products. We used After Effects quite heavily and we used it as a, as a creative tool, which was aimed to create something unique. There was a, a fascinating experiment to um, film something in the studio, then put it into After Effects and start adding filters and start adding another version of the uh, shot footage and, and see how it looks if we distort the underlying footage with the new footage. And using Photoshop and After Effects especially allowed us to do this in a very efficient and uh, streamlined manner. And this combination is a, is a um, creation and a, and a tool set that we use on a daily basis and it's, it's uh, absolutely mandatory that we get these tools in our workflow. Being able to layer things upon layers and, and just experiment and, and see what happens if I do this without destroying something that you did before, I think that's, that's a fantastic, fantastic tool. And um, I really love it, I really use it as a, as a creative tool that allows me to express myself. What I love most about what I do is I love the freedom it gives me. The way how we get there, the, this sort of like whole route that we have to take, that's the exciting part. I love the experimentation part. 